Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Sam Lau from Hong Kong Baptist University. So here I got my colleagues, Kelvin Ram, and also uh, Dr. Martin Choi. They will join me as a co-presenters to this uh, presentation. So our presentation today will address the effects of a blended synchronous career development course on students' career awareness. So moving on, the flow of the presentation start with the rationale of the studies. So Martin will then talk about the course implementation in blended learning mode, and then move on to Kelvin on the methods and results. So later on, I will go through the discussion and the conclusion part. So first, the background. Graduates' employment outcomes is increasingly a critical factor for all stakeholders in the society. So on the one hand, university graduates feel not prepared well enough for the world of work. On the other, employers perceive graduates as lacking career readiness and also employability skills. So to bridge the gap between higher education and industry, so there is a growing trend of integrating career education in the curriculum in higher education. So as for the employers in Hong Kong, so what do they expect of the graduates? As for the uh, sub-degree levels, employer rate character and work attitude as the most important aspect in recruitment. And presentation skills comes at the second and followed by analytical and problem solving ability, interpersonal skills, and then the language proficiency. So career education often relies on extensive face-to-face -face workshop, focusing on one-on-one, -on -one, personalized advising and counseling, and also interview training. So the COVID-19 pandemic has actually forced all the universities around the world to adopt online learning. So the question that we would like to ask is whether the online learning approach works for career development course alongside with other discipline specific courses. So according to uh, Gilly Salmon, for online learners, there is more than the subject to learn. For online learning to be successful, students need to be supported through a structured developmental process. So in these studies, the five stage model was adopted. It provides a framework for a structured and paced program of e activities. So the model here you will see offer essential support and development to students at each stage as they build up expertise in learning online. So from the bottom, you will see stage one at the base of the flight of the step referred to prerequisites for effective participation. So namely access and motivation. And moving up stage two is to establish a personal online identity and finding others to interact. So up one stage three is the information exchange stage. Stage four is where discussion and collaborative interaction would take place. And then finally, at the top stage five is where students look for more benefits. So now I pass on to Martin to talk about the implementation of the course. Okay, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much to all of our guests, your interest in our paper. Now, taking into account of an appropriate social distancing policy during COVID-19 pandemic, the teaching team transformed an original instructor-led career development course in the classroom into a blended synchronous course on the internet. The teaching team developed the course by using Moodle with an implementation of Zoom in order to establish the best e-learning format for our students. All learning materials and class interactive activities are put on Moodle to facilitate the blended mode of learning. The teaching team asks ourselves when, where, and how often students are likely to need the career development knowledge and training. We agree that it would be the best if the learning is conducted synchronously for all students in normal lesson time. And it will also be available on the internet at any time they think of us. 
Our career development course include a number of e-learning elements to facilitate the transformation into the blended synchronous mode. Firstly, the instructor-led classroom style is remained through Zoom. Secondly, link to external resources are available to students. For example, we include the studential website, which contains hundreds of copyright-free sample personal statements for the application of different universities and faculties in the United States and the United Kingdom. Some are provided with comments by professionals for further improvement. The students can select the appropriate samples as their reference to prepare their own personal statement. This is amazing because uh, most of the similar internet resources are paid service, but this is free of charge. Another example is the ONET Online. This website contains an occupational search engine relating to the labor market in the United States. The search engine will browse the groups of similar occupations to explore career. The students will explore occupations that need the skills they have acquired at present. They will see there are not many occupations available for them now, and the salary is lower than expectation. I think the most interesting function is that the students can use the search engine in the opposite direction. The students can input their ability, personal preference in the system, and to seek for an advice of the most suitable career for them. In this way, they will know the education and the skills required by those career. Students will then be able to have a better planning for their future. We also have episode video exercise before each lesson. The flipped learning approach is proved to be very helpful in original lesson face-to-face -face version. This is retained in the blended synchronous version. The teaching team prepare a virtual interview training for the student. We had a Zoom training section on the mock interview for their application to the university with both individual pitch and group discussion. All students had an encouraging feedback. They even demand for an online mock interview practice in this semester again. The positive response of the students show us that the blended synchronous learning mode to deliver a career development course is useful and valuable. This study will seriously examine its effect on the student's career awareness. Finally, we aim to address the potential of using the blended synchronous learning mode to deliver a career development course and examine its effect on the student's career awareness. And next, I will pass to my colleagues, Kelvin. Thanks for Martin's practical explanation on the course pedagogy involving technology. So, how do we evaluate the effectiveness of this branded synchronous career development course? Firstly, we adopted a mixed pretest and protest design. Basically, we use a survey and a focus group to address its effectiveness. For the quantitative measurement, we have conduct an online survey at the first and then last class. By using a validated and reliable scale called the Occupational Identity Scales. This scale was based on the Occupational Identity Theory, and it is a theory that highlights one of the developmental milestones, the identity formation among the late adolescents. And according to Marika, late adolescents often format their work identities by the present and absence of their career exploration and commitment. And the formation typically starts at the fusion stage. In this stage, an individual is not concerned about his or her future career. As can be seen in the example item, when an individual at this stage, he will express something like, it is too early for me to be concerned about my professional future. And it indicates that an individual is not ready for career exploration and commitment. 
Secondly, some of the students may commit their career in a very early year without exploring any other career alternatives. This would bring them to the foreclosure stage. In this stage, they didn't go through any struggle because their peers or family guide their career path. And most of the late adolescent and young adults occur in the first stage, which is the moratorium stage. And in this stage, students are actively searching for career alternatives and chances to match with their own sake. But they haven't made commitments to their future career, which leads them to experience loss of anxiety here. And as noted in the example item, the facts of not being certain about occupational future borders them. Lastly, after they complete the a career exploration period, and start to commit careers, the adolescent will finally arrive at the identity achievement stage, recognizing their true sense of self. And then we have a qualitative measurement in here, and we conduct a focus group interview with five students by Zoom, and we ask them about the career development experience, expectation, and also the effects of the course. As presented by this figure, the quantitative data was collected at week one and week seven sessions. After we collect the survey data, we randomly select and invite the students from the computer survey for the focus group interviews. So let's move to the results part. Regarding the results, we have a majority of young female participants and all the participants were sub-degree students. For the quantitative result, we found significant improvement in the achievement, moratorium, and diffusion stage. Apart from these results, we also look into the number of students who report improvement after the course. As a result, more than 90% of the unit students reported that they have improved. And also, we have 87% of students reported that they have improved in the significant three stages. And our focus group interviews also indicate similar positive results. We find that our participants in the focus group also engage in achievement and moratorium stage. For example, the student A, as you can see, had already done some research and she wants to be an accountant. And she knew that she had to take qualification tests and had to know, use some of the software in order to reach her dream career. And student Yi engaged in a moratorium stage as he was originally wanted to be an archaeologist, but now he turned into the environmental science field due to the result of his BSE. And he reported that he struggled for a long time. And when we asked about the effects of the course, one student reported that she actually wished to take this course again, and it will be better if it was conducted before the senior year admission interview. And also she would like to have more individualized feedback based on their performance. And now Dr. Sam now will continue to interpret our findings in the following discussion session. Okay, thank you, Calvin. So um, in these studies, we investigate uh, the effect of a career development course in blended learning mode on student career awareness. So we find a high percentage of students, 87%, experience an enhancement of career awareness. Specifically, there was an improvement in identity achievement, moratorium, and diffusion. Students were actively exploring more information after completing the course though no improvement was observed in the foreclosure stage. Our finding revealed that the course provided the student with a head start to rethink their career. And also it built up a community of support for students. So we want to add that the effect size of the study was small, which is similar to those using the face-to-face -face learning mode. Of course, individualized counseling session would provide a larger effect size, However, from the course effectiveness perspective, the career development course, which is now on group-based setting, can benefit a greater number of students. So the finding of the studies has actually provided us with the insight of career education to improve individualized elements with specific information and feedback could be enhanced. 
So to best promote the learning, we could connect the core student to the careers and employability center of the School of Community Education, so as to provide them individualized one-on-one -on -one career support. So moving on, as for the limitation of the studies, the current study would have benefit from the inclusion of examining the students and teachers' acceptance of the blended learning mode. As for the online learning mode, we receive no technical difficulties as encountered by the student. So future studies should compare teachers and student acceptance of different learning modes, say face-to-face -face, face -face versus the e-learning mode, and also the impact on career awareness. We should also explore the long-term effects of the course. So to conclude, this is the first study to explore the effects of a career development course, adopting a blended synchronous learning mode on the career awareness of sub-degree students in Hong Kong. So based on our study result, the seven-week course was effective in assisting students to formulate their career decisions. The students were more advanced in occupational identity achievement and committed to a career choice after completing the course. So the result actually shows students are more actively exploring their career choice. And they sought further support from the university, especially on the specific and personalized learning experience. So students, we found that adapt well with the blended learning mode without having technical difficulties. Uh, finally, this is the acknowledgement. We would like to express our thanks to uh, Ruby Tam for her assistance in data collection and also all the teaching staff involved in the course, especially uh, Dr. Lucy Kuang, the course coordinator, for their kind assistance. And of course, the student participant uh, for their voluntary participation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Lau and his team for the presentation. I think we still have one to two minutes for some questions from the floor. If you'd like to raise any questions, please unmute yourself and speak directly or just uh, submit them in the Q&A in the Zoom chat box below. Do our participants have any questions? Are there any questions coming in? If no, then perhaps we can, oh, I see. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we have one. Uh, may I ask any follow-up online services for the students after they completed the courses? Yes, uh, when the student complete uh, the uh, uh, seven week course, a student are uh, able to uh, get uh, the uh, online services from the careers and employability center within the school. So uh, we would like to have these uh, online individualized um, services provided to the student as a follow-up so that student gets some personalized um, support on a career advising. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess it's about time for us to end this session. 